Save up to 50% on your medicine bills. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if PharmaDynamics has a generic medicine that's suitable for you. Acid reflux or heartburn is so common that a study found the incidence increased by 50% in the last decade. Our lifestyles contribute to this uncomfortable problem, but simple heartburn could indicate a more serious condition. Gastroesophageal reflux disease involves retrograde movement of the stomach and duodenal contents into the esophagus. Heartburn is just but one of the multiple symptoms uh, ascribed to uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease. The causes of acid reflux are inappropriate relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter, an hypotensive lower esophageal sphincter, uh, improper clearance of the esophagus, improper emptying of the stomach, a gastric outlet obstruction, and then also it's important to note that large hiatus hernias also contribute to uh, acid reflux, however, it does not cause acid reflux. Gastroesophageal reflux disease is commonly diagnosed with a gastroscope or upper endoscopy. However, it's only, it's only diagnosed as uh, good in approximately 40% of patients. Uh, about 60% of patients have no signs of gastroesophageal reflux disease on their scope. So therefore, we sometimes need to do pH studies to confirm the diagnosis. An upper gastrointestinal endoscopy allows your doctor to look at the lining of the esophagus, stomach and part of the small intestine. It eliminates the need for surgery and shows problems not revealed by x-rays. A, a gastroscopy is a simple procedure and it shouldn't be uh, something that discourages patients to have uh, their stomachs and their esophagus evaluated. Um, a patient should be well sedated and then the procedure is very simple and, um, and comfortable to, to, to perform. We look for findings to support uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease, which are the ulcers in the esophagus, as well as uh, hiatus hernia, which will you know, be supportive evidence for, for GERD. And then we also want to exclude other causes that can simulate um, heartburn or GERD, and that would be cancer of the esophagus, or cancer of the stomach, uh, ulcer of the stomach or of the duodenum, uh, or other uh, diseases, systemic diseases that can influence the um, esophagus and the stomach. While well, the scopes are getting better, the, the visualization with the scopes are getting better, and uh, in the future we will be able to identify uh, precancerous lesions just by scoping um, and uh, using better uh, techniques to visualize the mucosa of the esophagus and the stomach. Not getting treatment for chronic heartburn or reflux disease can lead to ulcers or narrowing of the esophagus and precancerous cells in the affected area. The treatments I suggest for, for heartburn depends on the severity. If it's mild heartburn, we can start just with lifestyle modification and, and if the heartburn persists, you can add a simple anti-acids, that's over-the-counter medication. If it's more severe, the histamine antagonist, for, for example, Tagamet, can be helpful uh, for short-term use. However, if it's more severe, we move towards PPI therapy. Also important, there are um, surgical uh, treatment for, for reflux disease, and on the horizon, uh, there are endoscopic treatments available for reflux disease. Don't let heartburn get you down. Visit your doctor or pharmacy today to ease the burn of acid reflux. Save up to 50% on your medicine bills. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if PharmaDynamics has a generic medicine that's suitable for you. I want to live the best life.